Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to create two separate layouts for both the portrait and landscape view of your activity. Now to show you guys how to do this, I'm gonna be creating this little demo app here. So when we rotate the screen, it swaps over to the portrait layout. And then if we rotate it back, it'll swap back over to our portrait layout. Now, before we get into this video, I do wanna mention this was a requested video and I would like to make this into a thing. So if you guys have any questions about anything Android related, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do about making a video about your guys' questions. So with that out of the way, let's get started with this video. Okay, so right now all I got is this blank activity opened up, but I did go ahead and define two strings in the strings.xml file, this portrait text along with the landscape text. Now to save some time, what I'd like to do is just copy and paste the XML code that created that portrait landscape you guys saw in the beginning of this video into the activity main.xml file. So I'm gonna paste that in, and this is gonna be the portrait view for the main activity. Now to create the landscape view for this activity, if we come over to the far right, we can click the design tab. And now if we come over to the left, you can click on this orientation for preview button, scroll down, and you're looking for this landscape variation. If you click this, this will create a new activity.xml file, but for the landscape orientation of this activity. Then from here, all you have to do is rearrange your views so they fit in the landscape mode. And then when your screen is rotated, it should flip over to this layout. Now it really is that easy to create these different views for the activities. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and rearrange this so it matches what we saw in the beginning of this video, that landscape view. So I'll be back. All right, so let's come up to the far right and we can click that play button to run our app on the emulator to test to see if the app will actually swap over to the landscape view when it's rotated. And if we click this rotate button, it will in fact swap over to the landscape layout. And then if we flip it back, it should swap back over to our portrait layout as well. Now, if I went back and deleted our landscape view, and then if we come back and we run our emulator, you'll see that when we rotate our screen, it's stuck with that first layout that we created and it's gonna rearrange all of our views. And this could end up being problematic because some of the views that we create might not be on screen for the user to click. That's why it's recommended to actually create a landscape layout rather than just having the default portrait layout. Now there are ways of locking it into the portrait view if that's something you wanna do. I'll link to that video here. But that pretty much covers everything you need to know for creating different layouts for either portrait or landscape mode. As always, if you guys do have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.